Air Asia, the latest entrant in the space, is making a big bang entry. The newbie is offering rock bottom prices, uh, tractor promotional offers, a low cost Indigo uh, leader. Indigo has also hit back with some discounted fares, it seems. So now that is standing by with comparison of some fares with the Bangalore Goa route to tell us it's, it may be good news for consumers. So Nanda. Harsha, well, you know, we were all thrown into a bit of a tizzy when we saw that 990 rupees on Friday. But I've been tracking those fares. And this morning, for example, a Bangalore Goa flight that uh, AirAsia announced at 990 rupees for a one-way trip is actually 5,000, which is pretty much in line with what the rest of the industry is offering. But that didn't really stop, uh, you know, Indigo, for example, for jumping in and announcing its own fares of 930 rupees. That's a one-way between Bangalore and Goa. Uh, that, again, this morning is pretty much around 5,600-odd rupees. SpiceJet, on the other hand, uh, we spoke with them uh, off the record on uh, Friday um, and this morning as well, the CEO tweeting saying that they're not really going to jump into that entire fray and they can't afford to as well. Remember, they've been seeing those uh, record losses. Now, that said, it pretty much takes care of the, you know, the question as to how they're really going to break even, Harsha. Do remember that Kappa, for example, on Friday had put out a report saying that uh, Air Asia's ambitious plan of breaking even in four months is going to be very difficult if it continues offering these rates. But if it is going to be offering these tickets at industry rates, there's no question of how it could possibly try and break even in that point. Also, very quickly, it, uh, Air Asia also announced uh, five, rupees five on tickets, 15,000 tickets. That was again on Friday. And that again seems to have been a very promotional offer so this entire thing pretty much turning out to be a marketing exercise as I, I said good news for consumers is really bad news for the industry today this discussion forward uh, former director of spice jet uh, ajay singh joins us on this conversation ajay thank you so much for taking this call uh, what do you make of this uh, another round of irrational pricing uh, well, as your anchor was just saying, uh, this is more of a marketing uh, situation. Mm. Uh, Air Asia needs to break into the market and they need publicity. Most of the low-cost carriers, as you know, uh, don't spend too much money on advertising. Sure. And uh, they depend upon a lot of uh, PR mm. and press uh, reports on what they're doing. Sure. And uh, just as uh, SpiceJet had launched a rupees 99 fares when they started, uh, Air Asia has, uh, you know, offered these fares at 990 rupees. This doesn't mean that uh, they can sustain an airline at fares uh, of this sort. Uh, but uh, they achieved the objective of everybody talking about the 990 fare, uh, which was really what this was all about. The average fares are still going to be, uh, you know, uh, Air Asia is not in this uh, to 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 lose money. So they will have to come back with rational pricing. And as your anchor was just saying, uh, the, the current, uh, you know, Bangalore Goa fares are close to 5,000 rupees. Right. So on an average, the fares and the yields will remain uh, comparable. Well, Ajay, you know, the fact of the matter is the other guys have jumped in. You've seen Indigo cut fares as well. Uh, my, I, I take the point that this is obviously a marketing exercise. But, you know, uh, are you going to see other players also following suit? Do you see prices getting into the irrational zone? Well, you know, I don't think uh, people have the uh, balance sheets to uh, mm. get into irrational pricing at this time. Uh, I just feel that uh, uh, while Indigo might have cut uh, fares as well, uh, they will be uh, sectoral and uh, they will be only where uh, Air Asia is cutting fares. Uh, and they will also be a marketing exercise. Mm. So so there will be uh, a few seats which will be offered at those, those fares. Mm. And uh, the rest of the seats will be offered at the normal high fares and the average yield will still be high. Now that we have a new government in place, uh, Ajay, are you hopeful that you're going to see some reforms coming into this sector, the, uh, that rationalized duty structure that makes this, this entire industry closer towards profitability and being sustainable? Uh, well, certainly, I think uh, the new government uh, must be petitioned uh, to ensure that uh, the structural uh, problems that the industry is facing mm. uh, are resolved. I think the largest structural problem that the industry is facing is a, is a large irrational player called uh, Air India. And, uh, uh, you know, while they are in the market and while they are able to uh, suffer large losses which are subsidized by the taxpayer, mm. it's very difficult for other players to be rational. Mm. Uh, so so uh, the government, uh, you know, really needs to look at... Uh, the future of Air India and how they will treat uh, Air India going forward. Sure. So you're also seeing, uh, Ajay, the, the, the larger players, somebody like Jet, you know, restructuring, reworking their offering and so on. Uh, uh, with the, do you see the model changing? Do you see 
you know, the, the low fare guys or the low cost guys uh, perhaps making a, a better bet at getting their business model sus being sustainable rather than the full service airlines? Uh, well, we, when we launched SpiceJet, uh, we were very clear that uh, the future of Indian aviation uh, was low-cost low aviation. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, that's been borne out by what has happened since uh, 2005 when we launched. Mm -hmm. And you can see that uh, low-cost flying is already from 70 or 75 percent of the market. Mm -hmm. So uh, going forward, I, th I think that uh, uh, low-cost aviation is the only kind of aviation that will survive uh, domestically. Uh, and... Uh, the rest of it will be international flights, uh, and the short-term international, the, the short-haul international flights will also be pretty much low cost. So the idea is to, you know, keep bringing down the cost of aviation, uh, both structurally, uh, both with government intervention as well as uh, by the business model that you follow, uh, and uh, uh, that's what will survive in the long run. And Jet will have to learn that as well.